Hey y'all, we're Jimmy and Lisa with Finest Camping on another episode of Tuesday Talks. For our viewers. On this Tuesday Talk for our viewers, we're going to do something a little bit different. As you guys know, we usually show you guys products that we use every day. We, we do. We try to help you guys out and show you things that are helpful. And in this Tuesday Talks, we need your help. So, as most of you probably know, we have three dogs. Our Westie Max. You know, everybody knows Max. You know, Max is the one that likes to throw up in the truck. And then Daisy. She's only six. Max is 15. And then Maddie. I don't know if you can see her back there. She's 13. And... We're starting to have a little problems and issues getting them in and out of the truck because they're getting old. And Max isn't so much a big deal because, I mean, he weighs all of like 18 pounds. We can so toss him into the him truck. Up, pop him in and he's good to go. Um, in fact, he just stands beside the truck and looks up at the door waiting for me to let him in, pick him up, put him in. Maddie, on the other hand, is a 70 pound chocolate lab who is struggling at this point but she still thinks she can do it by herself there's nothing worse than bending over and trying to pick her up and, and she, she jumps. jumps and she either smashes your glasses into your face or busts your lip with her head um, neither one end her up in the truck they just end me up with a headache or a bloody lip so we do have a harness or a, I don't know what you would call it, uh, with a handle on it for her. So I've gotten pretty good at getting her in and out of the truck because it's kind of just lift and push and she gets in the floor and then she can get up on the seat by herself from there. But getting in and out of the RV is a whole different game. Um, I think the steps throw her off because she can see through them. And yeah, I think in the last week or two, she's been having a lot of troubles getting up the steps to the point where, where she used to get halfway up and kind of fall down now, now she's she barely can. even getting up the steps um, so. so we're looking at ramps and you know there's a large variety of those some of them are big and bulky even though they fold up they're heavy they're plastic some of them are um, I looked at one that's like telescoping and it's aluminum which I think it only weighs like 15 pounds but I don't know anything about them and they range in price from 50 to 150 and on up from there so this is where you guys come in play. Do you have a ramp that you use with your RV to get your dog in and out? Whatever the reason, because they're old, because they're little, because they just don't like the steps. Because um, Daisy doesn't like the steps some days too, and there's nothing that keeps her from being able physically to do she it. She does have three feet. I know, she's missing part of her foot, but she's still capable of getting up down steps. So my question is, do you have a ramp that you use that you like, or that you love, or that you hate, because I really don't want to order something and wait for it to show up, only to get it and be like, this is horrible, I wish I'd have known, and then you got to ship it back and order something else. So I'm hoping that someone out there can help me. I need something that will hold the weight of a 70 pound dog, um, that'll fold up relatively easy and still be lightweight, and like one that I had looked at is as long as 84 inches, which would be great so that it's not so steep because I did borrow one from a friend one time and it was so steep to get up the steps that she struggled because it was just too steep. So there's that. Um, anyway, I don't have a tip for you guys on that because we need your tips. I need your tip. So if you travel in your RV, you know, of course I don't want something stationary that's built that's going to stay because we don't sit in one spot very long, but, and not necessarily for the truck. If we can use it in the truck too, that'd be great. If not, no big the deal. The truck's not too bad because we have to throw them in there once in a while, yeah. but going outside four or five times a day, it gets kind of rough. really looking for something for the RV. So please, please, please need your help to comment below. Let us know what you have that you love or what you have that you don't love so I don't make the mistake of buying that uh, any advice any links or anything like that that you can post below that would help me find a ramp on the first try 
that'll be good to get Miss Madeline in and out of the camper it would be a plus. Um, wow, that's not good. That trailer is completely broke. Oh, yeah, so. Might have missed that, but that was a trailer completely broke. That's bad. Um, today's travel day, so we're coming to you from the truck. But uh, anyway, not to keep you all along, along in our ride, along for the ride, too long. Just looking for some helpful hints from any of you that can offer up your advice. Uh, if you're enjoying these videos, usually ones that are helpful to you guys, <laughs> please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Ring, Ring the, bell the bell if you don't want to miss the next one. Um, Hopefully so the next one we'll be giving you guys some tips instead of you giving us tips. But yeah, either way, this is what tips. it's all about. We're all well, here to help I each other. To talk to you, doing a lot of peeping I'm down to one bar of battery. Hold on, that was our son talking in the background. So Yeah, he's with us this trip, so he's on the two-way radio. So anyway, um, next video we'll have some more tips from you guys. But for this video, I need your help. So don't forget to comment below, share your advice. I appreciate it. And until the next time you find us on the road or camping. Safe travels, guys.